Hey okay, guys, welcome back. Let's see if this microphone is on. It is on. And um, today we're going to finish the video of finally showing our app on the iOS simulator. So first things first, um, last video we ran into a little error that we saw. It says Expo is out of date, uninstalled, and run again to upgrade. So this is a learning experience for me too, teaching you guys this because I've never ran into this before because I was able to create my app all within the same version, but I guess Expo updated and it really needed to be uninstalled and reinstalled again. So I did that, but it turns out that didn't that didn't really solve the problem. What you had to do is you had to go to your simulator, go to erase all content and settings. That will delete the Expo app that is installed on your simulator. And that message, this message occurred to me because I did I had that app installed in my simulator ages ago, so that really needed to be deleted, reinstalled, so that it has the freshest app, so this error won't pop up again. Okay, now that that's done, um, there's another thing. If your iPhone simulator is suddenly running very slow, which mine was, and I think I showed you that in the last video, but if that happens, then just click Command T if you're on the Mac because there's apparently this little feature called slow animations, which apparently I toggled on by accident and that was causing it to run slowly, the animations to run slowly forever, which for me, my patience really sucks. So that, that really dropped drove me crazy. I was wondering what the heck was wrong. So I finally Googled it, what you should do. And I finally found this, this hack or this toggle slow animations. So that fixed it. So with that all said and done, let's go talk about some files. What you may not have is I added these two files, app.js and babel.config.js into the source folder. If you are following these videos so far, you have those two files outside here. I just want you to copy those and just put it in your source folder and that will be good. Um, you might have your app be like this right now but what I do want you to do is I want you to do uh, I want you to just have the code that we all started with that's just because there are some files here that we haven't written yet and it will complain about that and it will actually make it not work properly on the simulator that means like it won't start we'll just complain about errors for example we don't have the router file yet we'll talk about that in a later class so what I want you to do just to get things started is just have this code um, here I'll shrink it down for you so you guys can copy and paste it um, this is the code that comes along with you when you really initialize the project what we did the first time so we still have that code which you probably don't because I made you delete it so I'm trolling you like that but uh, if you don't have that code, you just type this out, or you could probably follow my article. I have an article written for every episode, and you can just copy and paste from there. But uh, let's just plop this code back here, save that, and we will go back to our go back to our folder. So if we go here, present working directory is Dynasty Nomads Mobile to source. You could probably do this a better way. Um, probably just keep Dancing Nomads Mobile 2 as the source for it. But anyways, it's too late now. We're just going along this way. <laughs> so, with that said and done, let's go do Expo Start. If I can type correctly. So, that'll open up the browser, and I'm just going to pause this video while that dance goes, and we'll come back in. Okay, so uh, we're back and things have started. Expo has ran. What the heck? We have an issue. Oh, what do we do with this? Let's just freaking ignore it. <laughs> the project contains unoptimized assets. Yeah, so we'll just run that later. But anyway, that's not that's not important. You can close this browser because as long as the terminal is running, then we're good. So with that said, you can see that everything has just started. Let's just click I. On your keyboard to open up the iOS simulator. So my simulator is not open, so there it is. Uh, if it's not open, then it'll just automatically boot it. Still loading. Okay, I'm gonna pause this again just 
Okay, so finally, this thing has finished running. Um, you can see that the loading bar is gone. And if you go over to your simulator, this is what you should get. And that's exactly what we have in our code here in our app.js. Welcome to React Native. Welcome to React Native. So that's where we're going to stop for today. This is just has been a two part video of learning how to run Expo on the iOS simulator, but I hope it was useful actually. It's quite, gets quite confusing, but hopefully this video helps. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe.